Okay, so the first thing is uh, news, uh, monitoring business news. Okay, what you should do is, is you've entered an MBA program. So I presume that most of you guys are interested in a job in the corporate world, right? You want to have a you want to have a career in the corporate sector, right? So uh, so therefore, what you have to do is, we have essentially you have two. As I said, you have two major goals for the MBA program. Which is one is that uh, you have this. Uh, you, we want to basically give you a good foundation of uh, understanding of all the different domains in in the world of business. Okay, uh, like for finance, marketing, operations, etc. And so that eventually, whatever field you go into, finance, marketing, okay, supply chain management, whatever you go into, you have a good foundation, a basic foundation of uh, uh, theoretical concepts, ba on the back of which you can build your own. Uh, you know, you can build for on further learning. Okay? Okay, and developing your career because in this kind of a competitive age you have to keep learning it's not sufficient to just do an MBA and sit on it every three four years you should actually reevaluate and then start looking at doing some another another qualification right so therefore uh, to do that you have to be uh, so, so that's a long-term goal and the short-term goal is to ensure that you get a good job at placement okay that's our short-term goal so uh, so to us that's so one of the things you'll have to do is essentially become make yourself a compelling especially for the short-term goal but this will also help you towards the long-term goal is that you have to make yourself a compelling candidate for the company that hires has come to recruit you right so the company should be the company should feel that we have to hire this guy right even if they didn't have an additional maybe they were looking for only two people but they see a third candidate who is very good they should feel like okay even if we didn't have a plan let's hire this guy because it's very impressive okay so the only way you're going to do that at the interview yeah the only way you have to, uh, you're going to be able to impress people at the interview stage is if you have been doing a lot of work uh, in these intervening two years okay you really have to go flat out okay because uh, if you both all of you come from uh, you know the typical undergraduate background in India where it's a very casual atmosphere right so the first two years of college people are generally having fun which is I guess is okay but then third year onwards you should start getting serious right so uh, so so but now we have come into a postgraduate program so it's no longer you should not carry the same attitude as you had in the first two years of undergraduate college so that's a different phase of your life that's over now so now it's getting more serious so you've gone into a pro you've come into a professional program where you're investing a lot of money right so you should get your money's worth in terms of learning so the objective of the program is really that I mean our role is to give you the right guidance okay to give you the right guidance as to what to study like you were asking like how should we study those caveats our goal is to give you the, our role is to give you the right guidance okay make you study the right kind of stuff okay and and then guide you along the way with details as to how you should refine your knowledge and then your but you have to do all the hard work okay you have to do all the hard work and we are also working hard in preparing the material and stuff but you also have to work equally hard uh, it's not going to be spoon feeding okay we are going to give you broadly the program structure is that we are going to give you guidance as to what you should do like I just gave my finance elective students who just started their course uh, I gave them uh, a lot of uh, sort of uh, homework kind of which is not connected to the curriculum okay but this is just stuff that they have to do outside the curriculum over and above what is being taught in the curriculum they have to do a lot of stuff okay which is very crucial for their development as finance students so it's going to be like this basically we are like a coach I see my role as a teacher is more like a coach okay so my goal is to improve your game so I will be telling you okay you need to work on this you need to work on this and then you need to go and do that okay and then it's a continuous process where we will keep on evaluating your performance right so that's how it's going to work so the first element of that one important element of your development as a business student is this concept of news monitoring okay that you have to begin you have to see you have to understand that your goal is to become like a business junkie okay you understand what a, a business or let's say let's not call it a business junkie you're a news junkie but you're a business ninja you understand what ninja is teenage mutant ninja turtles you understand so you have to become like a business ninja okay so you know when you're when you're going into the interview like business should be coming out of your ears okay so the people should who interview you should understand feel that this guy is totally immersed in the world of business and that requires to get into that to arrive at that kind of state okay to reach that level it requires a lot of high intensity effort 
so just if you continue with the attitude of your undergrad uh, uh, period okay it's not going to be sufficient so you have to make a conscious uh, uh, determination that this is a different phase of my life now so I need to change my attitude I need to become much more uh, intense okay as if you're preparing for the World Cup or you're preparing for Wimbledon okay so you have to be goal focused and you have to work very very hard okay so one element of that is essentially news monitoring okay which what I will say here is let's uh, we are we're still waiting for the projector but uh, you will see all these links and I'll, I'll share the file document the document also I will share with you so if you just go to Google and type news okay one of the options you get is Google News okay you just type news they give you different news options but I find Google News okay there are certain bias problems in Google News but otherwise their orientation is quite good you know the presentation the visual presentation is quite good so if you take Google News okay which is news.google.com okay and then what you do is uh, so all this stuff is getting recorded so you don't really need to write anything okay so um, I'm just putting the link also here and this file will be shared with you as well okay so uh, when you go to Google News you'll see if you just type news uh, select Google News you'll get all the headlines of all the different areas then on the left hand menu okay you'll see various options like right now you have cricket World Cup India world local stories business one of the uh, areas is business okay so you should go to business click on business on the left hand menu okay then you'll get all the business news so the first thing that you should do okay and while having breakfast or something like that whenever possible okay or while having lunch just make sure that every day you do this okay so uh, it doesn't matter whether you're feeling good or feeling bad make sure you absorb all this news so when you do business you'll get a whole bunch of business stories okay like what changed for the market where you were sleeping okay 10 top things to know okay then failure of large uh, housing finance companies similar to bank collapse RBI report SEBI titans regulations for mutual funds to safeguard investors okay so at least what you should do is every day you should scan all the whole headlines okay so you know now that SEBI is tightening regulations for mutual funds this is something that has gone so every day you should basically this is what I call bombarding your brain with business news okay you have to essentially think of your your brain has infinite capacity most of us are not even using 5% of the brain okay the brain only needs to sleep for about three hours a day okay and it has infinite capacity so you can bombard your brain endlessly and there won't be any problem the brain will adapt to it okay it has an immense power so your goal is really to completely uh, continuously bombard the brain with information and eventually the brain will figure out a way how to make I mean to make sense of it okay they'll figure I mean every has everyone has a different way of looking at things okay so uh, the brain your own brain will find your own unique way of processing that information and making sense of it okay so he might think of it the same news information which comes to him he may have a different view of it than she might have okay but that's fine because everybody look has their own unique perspective and that's absolutely the way to go you don't have to worry about matching up with other people's opinions and things like that so you keep uh, getting the news so every day if you read all the news and then certain things which you want to read if you're more curious right like government is to going ahead with this investment of Air India okay so if you want to read more about what's happening with the Air India December you can click on the news story and read it okay some of them may be behind a paywall in which case you can't read it but anyway so you can read so every day you read this news okay so you'll have about 40 50 stories so if you read this every day then over time what will happen is you're you've got a very good idea of what's going on in the world of business okay and eventually you'll find initially when you do this you might find that I'm not able to understand anything okay if you read a story maybe if you read a story on RBI and monetary policy and all you will feel that I'm not able to understand anything but that doesn't matter what you should not do some of your super seniors have done this they've made this mistake that I told them to do this but uh, later on after two years they told me oh yeah I, I, I uh, tried to do it initially but I couldn't understand anything so I stopped doing it so don't make that mistake okay whether you understand or don't understand that uh, at the initial stages that's not important you have to do it every day as a routine okay so this is where your discipline also comes in so we are going to tell you that you should do certain things okay and now some days you might be tired okay uh, you may not feel like doing it but that's that's where discipline comes in you should understand that these are certain things that I have to do it doesn't matter whether I'm tired it, uh, I don't whether I'm in a good mood or all that doesn't matter this is where you should submit to your discipline and do the things that you're supposed to do okay 
so every day if you do this eventually you will find initially you may not under, may not understand much but after six months you'll understand much more than you like maybe after initially you understand only five percent after six months you'll find you understand 25 percent after nine months you understand 35 percent and that's how it grows okay but if you stop doing it okay then you have lost the momentum okay you have to keep on investing in in this uh, project and uh, essentially that eventually over the longer term you'll see the payoffs okay because everybody nobody is stupid okay most of the people who seem to be stupid actually are what i call lazy people they are actually too lazy to do the hard work required to become smart i don't believe in this concept of uh, stupid and smart i think different people have different types of skills okay some people are better at bowling some people are better at batting their people have different skills but most people are actually who seem to be stupid are actually just too lazy because they are not doing this kind of stuff they are not you have to feed information into your brain otherwise how will you become smart and the more you put pressure on the brain the brain becomes stronger okay it's just like when you go to the gym and do bicep curls your biceps become bigger if you put the pressure on the brain the brain will become stronger so the brain is not some static entity that you're born with okay i was born stupid that means i can't do anything in my life yeah yeah isko laga do iska kuch ha le lijiye le lijiye jo aap ko chahiye le so uh, so this is one important thing to understand that uh, you have to do this so this thing that i've told you the first task i've given you is the daily news monitoring okay so this has to be done if you can do it in the morning do it in the night make sure every day you do it okay so this is one second is uh yeah this comes up. the second will be uh, monitoring this uh, uh, one is monitoring through the google news uh, feed okay the second is uh, monitoring through tv through business news okay so every day you make sure that you watch uh, i'll write this down also that you watch a channel like cnbc tv 18 i think which is i think probably the best channel uh, or you can watch uh, i mean don't watch any tv profit that's very poor quality either watch cnbc tv 18 or there is bloomberg india okay on cable you will get all these things or you can watch et now okay those two are i think uh, okay uh, and then i don't know if there's any other channel but anyway so uh, so watch these uh, english channel watch make sure you watch the english channel okay uh, so uh, you watch this make sure for indian business television like cnbc tv 18 you watch at least at least one hour preferably two hours a day okay so that's one aspect of it so that is cv cnbc tv 18 the second is going to uh, name it right तो मेरा रूम में ऐसा एक कैबिनेट है ना इसमें ये राइट साइड में होगा शायद या लेफ्ट साइड में भी हो सकता है मोस्ट लाइकली राइट साइड में ही होगा ये दोनों ऐसा कैबिनेट है इसमें देख लीजिए ओके और राइट सो so that's the first the second part now is that uh, the tv or watching tv business television so cnbc tv and at least one hour a day or uh, preferably two hours a day okay now the second part of the tv uh, aspect goes to one minute let me just so the second part we should do now is we are talking about global news global business news for that what you should do is go to youtube okay go to youtube and search for so for global news global business news i don't recommend that you go with the indian uh, newspaper like many people will probably tell you to subscribe to economic times and all that okay uh, but nowadays i don't think anybody needs to look at uh, paper i mean i personally don't read paper newspapers because the font is there, the the print size is so small i i would rather read something digitally 
where I can increase the font size and make it like huge and read it. It's much easier to read. Okay, so you go to Bloomberg. Uh, Bloomberg. Uh, so you go to YouTube. Okay, so the strategy for monitoring global business news is to use global uh, business uh, news networks, not to use the Indian networks. Okay, so for business global business news, uh, this is a little finance focused, but it's still okay. It's you need to have some kind of idea, and there are many other uh, sub channels within this. So you go to YouTube and you search for Bloomberg Live. Okay, you search for Bloomberg Live. Okay, all this is here. You'll you'll get the video, so you'll see all that. So you search for Bloomberg Live. When you see that, you'll see a blue icon with a Live Now option, Bloomberg Global News. Okay, so if you click that, you will get. Uh, this this news channel which is bloomberg bloomberg is actually the world's largest employer of journalists okay so uh, it doesn't how reinforces the case for lower interest rates so, so they're the talking about the us central bank the economy okay. have increased this is bloomberg okay so now they're broadcasting from the middle east at this point of the time then they'll transition to london okay This is a commercial break, so they have stopped here. Okay, so uh, so the thing what you should do is uh, YouTube Miller. Uh, hopefully, very soon you'll be able to see it as a projection. It'll make it easier to follow. But anyway, the okay. So what you have to do with uh, with Bloomberg is this particular Bloomberg News. So they are the largest employer of journalists worldwide. Okay. So this Bloomberg News feed, uh, TV feed, is actually coming. So it's better to go through YouTube. You can also go through their website, but it's better to go through YouTube. I think it's more stable. So uh, this is actually a financial markets focused uh, business television program. Okay. It's open 24/7, but they also have uh, they also have uh, interesting programs on technology and stuff like that, which everybody should watch. Okay. So when you watch this, you may not understand many of the terms that they're discussing. But it's still okay because you will get all kinds of global. It will give you a global perspective. That is very important. Okay. But I think one of the things that I emphasize here is that your basic perspective should be global. Okay. Because it's a globalizing world, no matter what some of these journalists might say. Okay. But it will continue to remain a globalizing uh, world. It will. Uh, the world will continue to get more and more globalized. Okay. So that process is not going to stop. So therefore, the right perspective for so the economies in the world are going to get more and more integrated with each other. So if the right perspective is always the global perspective. And then eventually, because you're going to get most of your first jobs in India, okay, so you should actually, um, yeah, so you should uh, have uh, a special knowledge of India as well. But the right way to start is you have a global perspective. And then uh, as you come down to the, and then at the national level, you should have a specialized knowledge of India and I would also recommend follow the US economy in great detail. So the two folk, uh, specific national economies that you should follow are uh, uh, the in are India obviously and also the US. Okay, very important to follow the US economy because it's the biggest economy in the world and for your lifetime also forget about my lifetime even in your lifetime I don't think anybody is going to come close to overtaking the US. Okay, although you hear all kinds of garbage in the media about China and India will overtake the it's total garbage. Okay, people who say this are total idiots, they have no idea of what India and China are and what the US is. I mean, these are two countries who don't even have convertible currencies. If you see capital controls in India, they're quite tight, but if you look at China, their capital controls are even tighter than India. Okay, so you have these two countries who don't have the guts to have free capital markets, free capital flows, and they're going to overtake the US. I mean, it's the biggest joke I've ever heard. And yet you see people like IMF and World Bank and all these serious organizations, they're talking all the time because of the kind of policies he's following. Okay, very pro-business. Okay, it's tremendous. You see, the US has already become a, the biggest producer of oil. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. so. Um, so the US has already become the world's largest uh, producer of oil and gas. Okay, largest energy producer in the world, bigger than Saudi, bigger than the Russians. Okay, so and because this is all happening because of uh, the particular policies that Trump has put in place, and he's very pro-business. He's cutting taxes. If we could just copy what he's doing in the US, our economy will start growing at double-digit rates. But our guys don't have the brains to do that. You know, I mean, they don't. They just don't have that mindset. You know, this country is being well held back by a mindset problem. It's like a guy who has told himself that only I'm only good for playing Ranji Trophy. I can never play test cricket. So why should I even try? 
you know it's like that kind of mindset it's a mindset problem the guy may have the talent actually to do well at test cricket but it's a mindset problem okay so we have this problem here so so the point is if this guy wins a second term he's going to continue with these policies and if you think the gap between the us and china and in the us and china is like this now if trump does a second term it's going to become like this okay it's going to become huge the gap because these guys the chinese are also not following the right policies they're not following free market policies right so so therefore uh, so that is also therefore what i would say is focus on the us economy very important okay because that will give you an idea of try to have a good understanding of what's going on in the us economy so that will give you a good idea of how a developed what a developed economy looks like okay all the stuff you see in the us today can come to india as, you know whenever we want it to come okay but usually it comes about 15 20 years later and like for instance if you take a a, a particular investment vehicle like a, a reit a reit is what is called a real estate investment trust okay so it's like a stock okay like buying a stock you list it on the stock exchange and that company whose stock you are buying that reit they go and invest in physical uh, real estate like they might that particular company might go and buy pvr saket or they go and buy some other malls okay they buy some residential property etc okay and those uh, that and though the rental income from those properties is passed on to the investors okay so if you take the example of a reit okay which is a way for uh, financial market investors to access the real estate market okay to invest in the real estate market now that legislation in the us was passed in 1960 okay so the us has been having these reits from 1960 in india this has just come like the first reit has been launched just about 5 6 months ago by blackstone okay again which is really actually a us company okay so this is how far behind we are and what is the reason for it no other reason except mindset problem i mean these guys don't have the mindset to allow this kind of uh, product because they are worried this will have this kind of speculation this that it's just a mindset problem there's no reason for us not to have reit legislation we could have also had it from 1960 but we didn't we had it now okay recently so this is a problem so that's therefore very keep a very keen eye on the us economy what's happening in the us economy all the innovation is coming from there okay you see all the innovations coming from there there are indians indonesians etc going and starting companies but where in silicon valley most of the technical technological innovation is coming from there still so um so that's the first part the sec i mean this uh, so business television okay um okay i'm putting this into your yeah so news monitoring um that one is actually uh feed news feed then then there is uh, tv okay which is tv is equal to one is cnbc tv 18 okay and two is so this is india news and if you follow bloomberg you will get uh, so cnbc tv 18 will give you the india news okay and uh, now you can see what happened suddenly it went off okay. Okay. See now it's coming. So so okay. So uh, as far as news monitoring is concerned this spread this file will be shared with you. So you will have access to this file. So then CNBC TV 18 is for India news and Bloomberg is for global news, okay? and bloomberg and you can also do um, cnbc in the us okay that also you can follow you will find many cnbc uh, little stories on on youtube okay they also have a channel there so um, bloomberg cnbc this is for global news and global and um, us news okay all right so very important to follow us news as well also follow very important also follow 
this uh, so you see now you see this stuff on demand aviation that they're discussing all the stuff that's happening in the US you will get to so this will tre tremendously broaden your perspective remember all of this is all it re related to this idea of bombarding your brain so you may feel like you're feeling very confused because I'm hearing so many things I'm not able to follow it doesn't matter don't worry about it just keep feeding the information to your brain okay it's not going to be uninteresting if you have joined a business school I presume you have some interest in the world of business right so it's not uninteresting you're all learning new stuff everything is learning for you guys okay so it's all new stuff so it's it's not going to be uh, I'll just switch to my geo feed here I think okay so uh, you keep watch so Bloomberg TV you should watch again at least one hour preferably in the US hours watch it during US time they'll be talking about US financial markets and the companies that are releasing earnings they'll discuss these companies so you'll get to learn a lot about what is happening uh, you know because when you listen to company earnings they you'll get to know what is happening in the underlying business like there's a company hmm? basically in daytime we have to watch it no, Bloomberg you watch uh, in US time, which is our night time. Ah, our night time. CNBC you can watch maybe yeah. earlier in the evening. CNBC TV 18 you can watch. Because during the day you'll be busy with classes. Okay. So, <coughs> even with classes, lunch time, instead of chatting with your friends, you should watch CNBC. Use that time to watch CNBC. So, you have to have this attitude because this, uh, you, there needs to be a shift in orientation from what you were doing in your undergrad. Okay, I'm not saying you should not chat with your friends at all, but you should understand that you are now uh, it, it's a different a world. It's a different kind of objective. Okay, so you really need to step up the effort level because this is one of the problems I'm finding with all the batches that uh, the students are not stepping up the effort level from their undergraduate days. They are in the same mode. They're very happy. They're relaxed. They're doing everything. But I don't think that's the right approach. You've come into a business school and you're going to be competing for jobs. Your goal is to get a good job at placement, which means you're going to be competing with many of the students who are from higher ranked business schools. So they start out with an advantage because the companies will think that they are better because they're from a higher ranked business school. But you can beat these students if you apply yourself. Okay, there is nothing really that doesn't mean that you got into a lower ranked business school or they're in a higher ranked business school. That means that you are stupid and they are smart. No, it's just these things happen someday your performance and cat is not good all these things happen these are and cat is not the end of everything okay it doesn't capture all the necessary skill sets okay that are required in the world of business so there's more to skill and business than just cat so when me let me switch to the uh, I hope this will last. okay so it's working so let it be if it's working then let it be the feed is coming through clearly okay so now you see they're discussing Bitcoin okay so uh, here now they're discussing a different type of service and uh, so you get to see all the different types of business so you need to be totally basically you have to think of yourself as your brain is totally buried in the ocean of business you know when we used to think about when we used to study fairy tales when we were kids there used to be some rakshas who you cannot kill that even when you physically kill that rakshas to you know to totally destroy him you have to dive into the ocean and then there is something in an oyster there's a little uh, you know box in an oyster you have to take the thing out and then so that oyster is deep in the ocean your brain is buried in the in the world of business so 24 7 you're just un under you're just learning about business okay so you 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 have to think of it that way so you need to think of a very high intensity effort this casual attitude of your undergraduate days has to stop okay so constantly monitor business news and i think eventually hopefully you'll find it interesting also all right that uh, and you're learning so much and all these things eventually will pay off because what will happen is if you do this continuously for two years by the time uh, because as i said nobody's stupid okay your brain in your own unique way your brain will make sense of what you're seeing okay so when you go in for your interviews finally right after two years this kind of all this input that you put into your brain it will come out in your conversation in the way you talk and the way you answer questions you'll be able to connect it to so many things that you've learned before 
and that is what will impress people okay so this is why you need this actually it has many other uses also it just gives you that knowledge a comprehensive understanding of the world of business okay so uh, so this is what you have to watch it uh, so this will give you a global perspective very important to have a global perspective most of the business schools in india are teaching from an indian perspective that's not correct okay the first perspective should be global and then india features as one of the major economies in the in the global space okay and then you should also have a good understanding of the us economy and another, one of the important things about this bloomberg channel is that if you also go to you should also now let me talk about another one which is whatever yeah bloomberg technology very very important program okay so you have you should subscribe to this one also all right so if you go to uh, oh i didn't know that uh, johnny ive was leading uh, you know who johnny ive is design head of apple okay so uh, he's i didn't know he was leaving apple okay so you will see that there's a full show there's like a 45 minute capsule you can see that show if they release it with a slight lag okay because they want you i guess to watch pay t watch t tv which is paid for so they release it with a slight lag but it doesn't affect uh, your learning okay with a one or two day lag or one week lag but make sure you you subscribe this way and watch all these full shows okay like you see i've already finished watching the 25th june show okay you learn that's what i learned about the fact that amazon is getting into the beauty business okay so uh so all these things are all aspects of your understanding of the world of business maybe there's a case study discussion somewhere where you could use this information so this is very important because technology is transforming every industry and so it's important for every business student to have a very good understanding of even if you are not a technology person even if but the fact that you've gone into a business school now means that you have to have a good understanding of technology even if you don't become an actual programmer or something like that okay even if you don't become a programmer or a network engineer or something like that but still you should have a very good understanding of technology because it is so crucial to the modern world of business okay you make sure you are comfortable it doesn't matter again the same rule applies you watch the program today you feel you can't understand anything that's okay keep watching after 6 months you'll understand 15% okay after one year you'll understand 45% that's better than zero right so make sure you do all these things so another job that you have now is every day try to read the next try to watch the next release of uh, bloomberg technology so again lunch time no chatting with friends watch bloomberg technology okay so all the masti will go out of your life okay you will only be but you should find this this is a new source of masti trying to learn about the world of business and immersing yourself in the world of business okay clear you're not convinced <laughs> he is very disappointed <laughs> that no more talking with friends after my graduation i have done my beard also sorry sir after my graduation i have done my beard okay so it is uh, a basically a very different phase for me so it will take some time okay after grad undergrad you did b ed uh, yes. so you did undergrad in what area maths honors maths honors yes. okay and then you did a b ed yes sir okay so that's a very good foundation actually so uh, i have to pick my feet from teaching to this corporate world so that's why i'm not convinced it will take some time but i will definitely you have to make an effort yes sir okay everything you'll notice that, that human you beings have to step out from my comfort zone only yeah so yeah we, we so you follow you have to trust the program okay you guys are all young we have much more experience than you you have taken the decision now you are stuck okay you have taken a decision to join dsb now i would say instead of using your judgment you are stuck here anyway okay you better listen to us and trust what will happen in the worst case for 2 years we'll give you bad advice and you'll do what is the worst case that we'll give you bad advice and you'll be ending up wasting your time doing all kinds of stupid things which are of no use but you you guys are so young that 2 years for you at this stage is nothing okay so therefore uh, i would say forget about everything else and trust the program follow what we are giving what are the instructions we are giving you and uh, be disciplined about discipline is very important everything is about discipline all success in the world uh, in life comes from discipline without discipline there's nothing so don't go by oh, i don't feel like doing it you figure out what you have to do what you are required to do at a point of time on a on a given day and just do it okay wear your nike's and just do it okay don't bring your feelings into the picture okay so and then as you start doing it you'll find that you are finding uh, you're starting to enjoy it 
so you have to give yourself that time and you have to give that particular process that time so every day's release of bloomberg technology the new release watch the full program okay so even i find certain times i i'm not really enjoying it as such uh, because it's a little technical but uh, i still watch it because i think i need to know i need to feed myself this information okay so uh, so i do it basically i try to follow this uh, what you can see here 26 i have not watched okay so uh, here you see on bloomberg technology in this channel you see a lot of other things and the other beauty of this bloomberg tv feed that i showed you that bloomberg live okay when you go to saturdays and sundays the financial markets are not open this is a financial markets channel okay uh, but you should still watch it now uh, because uh, even if you're not trying to take finance because as a business student you need to have some basic understanding of finance and you need to understand what are the issues that are important so if you watch this program during us hours and you see certain things being discussed like yield curves credit spreads okay you don't understand these terms but whatever you don't understand you should actually uh, this is another way of learning like what you were talking about how should we learn whatever you don't understand you should write down okay you should write down okay i heard this term called credit spreads i don't know what it means so you should have a list of terms that you have come across which you don't understand and then eventually one of the you know one way one day or the other you'll find an opportunity to clarify that okay but you should keep a track of, of these terms so this is a, this is better than not knowing anything here at least you know specifically okay so i call this defining the frontiers of your ignorance okay now at least you know that you don't know about credit spreads and credit default swaps and yield curves there are specific things that you don't know because before this what were you saying i don't know anything okay so being able to say that i don't know a b c specifically is better than saying i don't know anything right so now you know at least what you don't know and specific things so there is a progress that is happening even when you're not able to follow because now you know what is it that you don't, what is it that you're not able to follow so some of your seniors have been quite good at it because we had a student uh, uh, in a couple of batches earlier who was quite good at this he used to do this and every day in the beginning of the class i would spend some time he would ask me okay i read this thing on bloomberg or i saw this thing on, Blo on bloomberg tv i couldn't understand it can you explain this so then every day in the class in the few few minutes i uh, early part of the class i would spend answering his question and that would clarify the point okay so this is how you learn okay so and what you'll find when you look at this uh, bloomberg uh, the if you go back to bloomberg live so here you see many many interesting discussions okay you see here this is studio 1.0 very important program i think okay now you see there's a 24 minute interview with qualcomm all you guys are affected by qualcomm many of your phone chips are made by qualcomm 5g qualcomm is about one one year ahead of everybody else in 5g okay so qualcomm is affecting everybody's lives okay so what is the business of qualcomm the very issues that they're facing watch this interview with the ceo of qualcomm okay there are also lots of ip issues intellectual property a lot of legal uh, battles between apple and qualcomm and cases like that okay google and qualcomm and case situations like that so uh, uh, so more important case between apple and qualcomm so watch this the studio 1.0 is broadcast live on that bloomberg live channel that bloomberg live is a tv channel okay so if you watch bloomberg live on saturdays and sundays you'll see many interviews with business leaders technology leaders okay like meg whitman where was she earlier do you remember this lady she was at ebay she started at ebay you know ebay right so she started at ebay then she went to hp she was heading hp enterprise i think and now she's come to a new company uh, it's a new media streaming company i forget the name it's a, some it's a funny kind of chinese sounding name quigo or something like that which the people in hollywood have started it's a streaming uh, service for movies and tv shows and stuff like that kind of like netflix okay competing with netflix okay so bloomberg studio 1.0 you can see these are sub substantive interviews like 24 minute interviews you can learn a lot okay so you can learn about all the different sectors of the economy okay all this stuff so you can see all this why okay uh, why is okay i didn't even know that johnny i was leaving apple okay all the all lots of interesting stuff here and then if you go back to bloomberg live and you play it on on uh, saturdays and sundays they have they, they will show these studio 1.0 interviews which are nice long interviews okay so a lot of stuff happening uh, bloomberg there's also a new channel called bloomberg turnaround 
which will be yeah Bloomberg turnaround C now if you look at just Bloomberg turnaround this is actually there this is a series where they're profiling companies okay so Peugeot is which country Germany. French okay if I'm not sure yeah it is uh, these are these sound like French names I think Peugeot is a French company you can check it um, okay you can look at this so it's again these are 24 minute uh, 30 minute segments Qantas you've heard of Qantas you've heard of you haven't heard of Qantas good lord so airline Qantas is an Australian airline they're like Australia's version of Air India okay so Qantas had some problems how did they turn around the company these these uh, stories I think are very important because they give you a very good understanding of business strategy which you will do and business strategy is eventually the goal of all you whatever you're doing is to be able to integrate all these areas and do a business strategy perspective okay so again go to Bloomberg turnaround let me just put this link in your uh, special channels okay special topics Bloomberg turnaround then I'll just go to Bloomberg I'll put all the lists here technology are you getting bored you're looking I think you're looking a little bored sorry what is your what is your name I forgot huh Mukul Mukul okay you're looking a little bored you're looking like you're tuning off okay you haven't slept enough okay is that correct okay so special topics Bloomberg technology Bloomberg turnaround special channels okay lot of stuff to watch okay this is one um, you, you can see Bloomberg India also and uh, all right so this these are the important ones I think Bloomberg technology and Bloomberg turnaround and of course Bloomberg live okay um, no, this is a different one yeah Bloomberg live yeah and Bloomberg uh, if we go for Bloomberg live what uh, if we go for Bloomberg live what does it show us Yeah, so this is the channel that I'm looking for. Okay, when you go for Bloomberg Live, you'll see this this view, and you'll see a Live Now option. That means this is the channel. Okay, this is the 24/7 channel. So you click on this. I'll give this also as. Don't copy the URL specifically from here. Go through this route because they keep changing the URL, the specific URL. So always go through Bloomberg Live or search, and then see what is the uh, then click on the URL, uh, the link here, the hyperlink here. So, um, yeah, special topics. So, Bloomberg Turnaround, very interesting uh, channel as well. They used to have earlier, I think they've sort of taken that offline. They used to have a very, this, this one, I don't know what happened to this one. They had another, another serial. Bloomberg risk taker see 45 minute you heard of Elon Musk many of you have not heard of only he has heard of Elon Musk you have not heard of Elon you heard okay okay so many of you have not heard so you need to improve increase your understanding of the world of business because many of you are coming across so this is an important part of your learning is just being aware of what all is going on in the world of business this is not some great conceptual thing like you're doing something the stuff that you did in maths honors these are all conceptual things that you've done okay but it's not that but it's still just it's just contextual information okay so we have you can look at knowledge as being of two types one is conceptual clarity that is understanding say a subject like calculus okay understanding differentiation rate of change it's a conceptual understanding okay and the other is just contextual knowledge just the fact that things like like what I was telling you Amazon is now going into the beauty business okay or some companies launch, launching on-demand jet service just knowing about what is going on okay that is not conceptual that is just information but even that you need to have okay that is part of your knowledge so you can't disregard that okay so risk takers also you can follow and see um, game changers all kinds of other series that you have okay so these are all long movies where you can learn a lot all right so yeah again maybe I touched something somewhere or be very careful 
okay so all this stuff so as I said I'll be sharing this file with you so you'll have access to all this. so this goes to your news coverage okay uh, as far as uh, your news coverage so I think this is pretty much uh, I think it's good for now as a starting point if you can just do this okay uh, that is a good enough start okay and you have to maintain it and remember it's on top of everything you're studying okay so it is not like you forget about your curriculum and uh, you do only this so you have to do whatever is required in your curriculum so there will be different assignments given every day in each subject so on top of that you have to do this okay because this doesn't get covered in your curriculum as such but this is very important it's a very important part of your learning okay and so so do this and then as far as news is concerned I'll try to also give you another one which is um, here we have time till 11 right okay so another thing that I want to give you is let me just see here whether it's Reuters not Bloomberg is not good enough okay so let's try um, Reuters will always take you to Reuters India but that's okay fine um, Okay. All right. So this the trend is not good because we seem to be going, uh, we seem to be going against the U.S. on trade policies. Actually, that's uh, I feel that's not the right direction because I think we should take this opportunity uh, to get closer to the U.S. But anyway, you follow Reuters news. There are some interesting things you can follow here. Is uh, you can see here business. You can follow all the different types of uh, uh, you know business stories. Uh, breaking views. You can read breaking views. It'll give you some idea. Okay. If there is an opportunity to get into uh, tech, also you should follow tech from here. Try to understand what's going on. Ideally, I would like to see the. Reuters homepage can we get that because in India when you're accessing from India they keep bouncing you to the India page see I just clicked on that and they bounced me back to the India page so anyway I think if you go there and if you go for the US edition okay there's no US edition there what you should really look at is what, what happened to the United States Here. this is the way you can get to Reuters.com the home page okay so if you look at what is going on in the US okay I think it's very important to follow because you'll get uh, I hope they're not bouncing me back to India no they're still there okay good so here you get a different set of menus right you can follow more information on global developments here the breaking views I think also will be the different you can see wealth okay markets very important to have a sense of markets as well okay follow what's going on all right try to follow a little bit of global political news as well the geopolitical tensions between Iran and the US and all these things that are happening so try to follow all this stuff so I'll try to put this also here but then it will not help uh, because uh, it will bounce you back to it will back bounce you back to the India site when you're accessing from India okay all right so I think this is pretty much it I think uh, we covered uh, most of the topics that I don't want to get very specialist at this stage because I'm not I'm not directing you to finance but when you watch Bloomberg TV in the um, when you watch Bloomberg TV you should uh, you will get a very good understanding of financial markets one of the things I will give you let me just give you this uh, charting one of the things you should start doing is uh, start looking at some uh, charts as well okay both for markets and for economic data because here you can start charting some uh, so what you'll do is I'll give you this I'll give you this link okay um, So this is one chart now the way you use this chart you have to create a login okay you have to create your own login okay you can track a lot of stuff here 
you can actually track if you're interested in Indian stocks okay you can stack Indian stocks here if I do uh, if you go to all here if you just keep keep it always at all then you can look at ITC let's say if you want to look at ITC uh, you get a chart of ITC here okay you can change the data if you go to a, a one week view you can get a lot more data you can see what is happening to ITC everybody know the word ITC yeah okay so uh, you can see how the stock has been performing so I think it's also important as you will be watching when you watch uh, CNBC TV 18 and stuff like that you will see a lot of discussion of stock prices of Indian companies so I think it's a useful thing for you guys even though some of you may not end up taking finance I think this basic level of financial knowledge everybody should have especially if you're a business student okay so use this uh, have get into this habit of using charting websites to track uh, how the market is doing because what happens many times you'll find the media most of the journalists are actually quite stupid so they'll they, you know the way they talk because they want to sensationalize things so if ITC drops a little bit they'll say ITC crashes because if you if they write just drops a little bit nobody might read it but if you write crashes that sounds more sensational so they write it like that but eventually when you look at the long-term chart you might find that it's actually not much movement is not much in the context of the long-term movement right so it's important to use it's very important i think to instead of just relying on the media okay because they have a lot of hidden agendas right so it's very important to use because this stuff is objective there's nothing subjective about this this is actually how the stock of itc has traded so you cannot dispute this if you have an opinion about somebody or some policy or something you can always like many people don't like demonetization some people like it but that debate is also like your case studies is never ending okay so but those are subjective debates but here there's nothing subjective you understand the difference between subjective and objective there's nothing subjective about this you cannot dispute this this is the way that itc stock has traded historically okay this is just a plot of historical data and market prices so there's no doubt about any of this okay so you can track itc you can track many things if you want to track the indian rupee uh, if you can see just start putting usdi you get an option of and the usdi nr you can see how the rupee has been doing against the dollar okay for a long time and this also will be discussed by indian business channels okay so then you can watch this you can watch other important currencies like euro against the dollar okay you can watch what is happening there okay then uh, you can watch commodities so if you want to watch you should keep an eye on the oil price because it's very important for india if you press oil uh, this is the one you should really follow okay west texas intermediate crude oil In crude oil there are two main varieties west texas intermediate which is the north american crude oil and then there is brent which is the european uh, variety okay so what we buy is closer to brent but we have also started buying some us oil now okay very important to follow the oil markets once again i don't really care whether you're going into finance or not these things basic things of basic knowledge of finance every business student has to have okay you should know what is happening with the oil price and instead of listening to media reports where you won't get a very good picture we we'll see how beautiful this is how how well it tells you about uh, the historical movement of oil prices i think yesterday i was showing my class some longer term data okay i don't know why so you can see here that the oil prices you see how they've been moving how in the in this long period for almost 20 years they were actually very low and there was not much movement and then suddenly you see everything has changed see how dramatically it has changed so these are all very real things okay these are real uh, these things have a real impact on people's lives and on, on economies okay so it's very important to have some idea about what's going on uh, use charts to have form your own objective view okay here you can also get data on uh, unemployment if you want to see um, yeah so for instance if you see uh, the US unemployment rate if you want to see the US unemployment rate okay you can see that also for that I'll give you a much better website okay uh, if you want to track another website that you should use I think this is good enough for charts okay let's look at uh, Aussie dollar okay. 
are you following what I'm doing with these charts yeah okay this is a very good uh, way of tracking for yourself and you may and what you should do is try to form an opinion on these markets if you're following the oil price try to form an opinion on which way you think the oil price is going okay you think it's going to go up form an opinion okay and test yourself look at the price look at now this is the Aussie dollar US dollar chart okay form an opinion do you think it will go over this high as well it's almost there now okay do you think it will go over this high change the time frames you'll get more data if you change it to one day you can see more data here okay then try to form an opinion okay this is where we were this is a short term view we had a zoom in view earlier now we zoomed out are you following what we're doing okay try to form an opinion this is where it is do you think doesn't matter if you don't understand anything about Australia it doesn't matter but try to form an opinion okay another chart charting website which is very useful is um, we can look at Fred okay Fred okay so this is a very good website again you may not understand much but tinker with it nobody is going to penalize you for tinkering with it and not understanding anything you can just explore okay it shows you all the things all the kinds of stuff that you have to learn about all the things that you don't know about that you have to learn about okay so this is actually the the website okay uh, so this is actually the US central bank's uh, policy rate what's been happening to the US central bank's policy rate here you can see what is happening just like in India we have what what is the Indian policy rate called the Central Bank Reserve Bank of India when they set the interest rate every two months they have a meeting and they do something or sometimes they don't do anything what is that rate called hmm? MCR they have many rates but what is the most important rate repo rate right so in the US they would call it a repo rate or a repo repo whatever you call it it stands for repurchase agreements so anyway so that's the rate that's the policy interest rate in India and the US is the effective federal funds rate the US settled back so this is again as I said very important you cannot be a complete business student without a very good understanding of the US economy okay I don't care what anybody in India, Indian business school says but the US is the most dominant economy in the world okay by a wide margin and it will remain so for your lifetime so you better have a good understanding of the US economy it is part of your learning you specialize in India and the US and also you have a global perspective on on uh, the whole world okay on, 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 the, on, on uh, all the economies of the world so this is another thing you can explore all this you can explore this website I'll just show you this is one okay then I'll show you the last one which is so here you can just go there and and you can explore you can learn a lot about economics also what kind of research these guys are doing okay here you can see a uh, you can look at economic here's a lot of information on this and very good quality data as well okay you can see all these kinds of data okay you'll see if you look at this rate you this is where I was talking about civilian unemployment rate in the US very interesting see how there are patterns in uh, in the unemployment rate everyone everybody understands what is unemployment rate okay the percentage of the population and actually in the US if you study in more detail you'll find that okay see see this data from 19 this data is from 1940s late 40s can you see some interesting patterns you see how it is fluctuating like this moving in cycles so this is what is uh, you know fascinating to study about the economy this is the real economic data it's not like I drew these patterns okay so it's real economic data okay so um, right so uh, so, so, so explore all these things okay if you plot in India we don't have this data but conceptually this data should exist okay we also have an unemployment rate and if you plot the Indian unemployment you'll also see the same cyclical movement in India as well if we plot the data now where do you have uh, I'll plot this in such an in interesting uh, chart I'll just plot this as a okay and then I'll plot uh, the last one which is for India data let me look at
So let's go directly to that. Okay. So India economic again, as you listen to CNBC TV 18 and all these channels, you will find that they are discussing the economy all the time. What is happening to industrial production? What is happening to unemployment? Okay, all these things they are discussing. So you can get a better picture from uh, what is this? from this website. Okay, let me just click this here. Okay, so this is your last website actually that I'm giving you. For so you can use now. Suppose you want to tra track the Indian unemployment rate. Like, let's see how it looks. Okay, you looked at the U.S. unemployment rate. Let's look at the Indian unemployment rate. Uh, they have the charts are not so good, not as good as uh, maybe we can chart a line chart. Okay, and uh, how much data can we have? Maximum data. Let's see, not much data. We don't have much data. We have data from 198. I mean, maybe the mid 80s. Okay, but you can still see the unemployment rate. What's happening? Okay, so. Uh, okay, so it's pretty low now compared to what we had earlier. Okay, so uh, so so this is what we have in India. So you can explore all kinds of things. Okay, labor force participation, all kinds of data. So get into this habit. What I would say emphasize here is get into this habit of using charts to track the economy and markets. Okay, don't just read and listen to what is there on business TV. Do that also. But additionally, also form your own perspective by looking at the charts, especially long term charts. Okay, that will give you a very good that is 100% objective information. And you can form your own view on where do you think this is going. Okay, like for instance, I look at this chart, I look at uh, something like this, I look at say I have I still trade currencies. So I uh, and this is actually real trading with real money. So for instance, I look at this dollar yen chart. And my view is that this dollar yen is going to go down. Okay, the dollar is going to go down against the yen. So I actually sold uh, I sold some dollar yen right at here at this point. And if it goes above this point, I will exit my position, but I'm expecting it to drop a lot more. Okay, so I've sold dollar yen. I've sold dollars and bought yen. Okay, and I expect that this, so because I have taken a view, my view is that this chart is going, it's headed lower. My projection is it's going lower and lower, probably going below this as well. So that's why I went and sold dollars, waiting for a move down below. Okay, try to form these kind of views. You don't need to know much about markets. You don't have to know what Australia is or what Japan is. Just look at the chart and form a view and see how it works. Test yourself. Okay, this is a completely legitimate effort uh, uh, method. Okay, are you following? Okay, I think I've detailed you guys for a long time. Uh, we've had a long session, almost one and a half hours. Okay, so we can stop it here now. I think you have you have a fair bit of material. Is that correct? Yes. You have a fair bit of material. So we'll stop it here now. You follow all these instructions, and as I said, uh, whenever you have any doubt, you can always come to me. There's no need for a fixed hour or anything. You just come and see if uh, see if I'm available. Then we can.